right, guys. Hello and welcome to everyone to this special presentation in collaboration uh, with our friends at CR Kennedy. Uh, I guess as a, a way to introduce the topic today or the, 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 the conversation we're having um, in the world of locating technologies, there's a raft of innovations uh, which are providing some exciting opportunities for utility locators to collect beautiful data. Uh, specifically, products like uh, the v Vivax VLOC 3 RTK Pro uh, combine high precision positioning with the powerful locating capabilities. Uh, Today, we'd like to share some examples for how you can leverage these products to produce beautiful data, uh, to, to improve your network records and customer deliverables. So with me today, my name is uh, Nick Holly. I'm the sales director for Asia Pacific for Pelican Corp. And with me is Philip Byrne. Philip, how are you going? Good, Nick, good, Nick. And um, thanks for inviting me on to this webinar. It's a great pleasure. Um, so Philip and I are going to run through, uh, I guess, a end-to-end a, a -end example of how the v, the VVAX VLOC3 Pro RTK uh, combined with one of our products, Geolantis360, produces amazing results from the field and in the uh, in the back office as well. So, as outlined in my introduction, with Locating and positioning technologies becoming more accessible. The recently released Vivax Elop 3 Pro RTK has combined these capabilities to provide some exciting opportunities for those undertaking subsurface utility uh, mapping. But there are some challenges or some compromises that you would have if you're just using this product alone. Uh, Yes, you get the precision data collection, you get the RTK grade GNSS mapping, and you get digital data collection and a digital data repository. But the challenges that a locator or a subsurface utility engineer might face in collecting this data set or this data is that they're collecting it blind, meaning they don't have an app to visualize the data as they're collecting it and building it. Um, they may not have the, the ability to create high quality or custom PDF deliverables, which customers are demanding these days. And they may be limited in the, in the ability to edit the data sets or provide annotation on the data sets as you're collecting them or post-processing in the field, uh, sorry, in the office. Um, and there's certainly no capability collect, to collect photos. This is where Geolantis provides that capability. And, and so this is an example of um, of where of a of a hand drawn document that would have been provided to a customer at some point uh, with sketches and annotations and illustrations of where assets or networks might have been found, uh, but it's certainly not. It requires a lot of manual intervention and could have been collected uh, while you're actually collecting the data, which is what Geolantis provides us the capability to do. So it gives us the data collection tool. It's a centralized repository. It gives us the data man data management capabilities, as well as asset documentation. You can build in customer deliverables. You can manage your own projects and and and, and manage that uh, really well. As providing uh, as well as providing a broad platform with APIs that can be connected to your other business applications. So. I brought Phil along to give me or give us a really good explanation of the um, the Vivax gear. Um, Phil, take it away. Cheers. Thanks, Nick. Um, I suppose um, I'm in a position where we sell quite a variety of equipment from um, from different companies. So we have um, IDS Geo Radar. Uh, VVAX uh, Leica. Um, so we're in a unique position where we can blend and mix a couple of different products to try and get the best outcome possible. And um, so that's what we have here with Geolantis and the RTK Pro. Uh, we have a really solid um, cloud-based software um, and a, a locator that can simultaneously locate and survey at the same time. Um, just a bit about myself and C.R. Kennedy, I suppose. Um, I worked as a surveyor for, for 10 years in the industry. Um, I was certified locator for two years also. 
Um, and I joined Sierra Kennedy about four years ago. Um, Sierra Kennedy is a, a family-owned business uh, based in Australia. Uh, we have uh, offices in every state of Australia. Uh, we just newly have an office in Tasmania as well. Um, we're the largest importer of survey equipment in Australia by dollar value. Um, and we do distribute quite a, bit, a few brands, um, including Leica, Geosystems, uh, IDS Georadar, Vivax, um, and of course, Geolantis. Um, we do have tech support all over the country, which um, which is massive um, for our customer base. Um, as all surveyors and uh, people using Geolantis, they, they do need support in the field and they can rely on us to, to provide that. Um, I suppose looking forward to the um, to the technology that we have um, and where Geolantis has really helped us. Um, we've really tried to move on to cloud based software and to be able to do um, your surveying or locating in the field and then know um, in the back of your mind that that's being backed up instantaneously. Um, so with Geolantis, um, we have uh, the RTK Pro which gives you 20 mil um, accuracy uh, straight out of the box. So you're using an RTK subscription um, service with that. Um, and as you're locating, you can um, locate that data straight to the cloud. Um, in this uh, webinar, we're talking about Geolantis and locating all your um, frequencies, um, if you're using peak or null, uh, what your depths are, and again, um, what your quality levels are as well. And uh, we'll go through that a little bit later on in the video. Um, with the RTK Pro itself, uh, storing the point is, is quite simple. Um, all you have to do is select the plus button, as we can see there with the little hand on the screen. Um, and it will ask you to plumb the RTK Pro, um, which is really, really important from a survey point of view, because uh, if you don't plumb uh, your RTK Pro, then it, it could be out by two or 300 mil. But, uh, locally, uh, the software within the RTK Pro won't allow you to actually store the point unless you've actually plumbed that point. So again, um, you're safe in the mind that all your data has been collected to the to the highest possible standard and to survey grade spec. Um, once you um, tick the the, um, the correct button, um, that data then goes straight to, to Geolantis. Um, if we show on the, on the next video, um, there, Nick. Um, we can see uh, my colleague here, Justin. Um, he's actually picking up um, a water main, I believe it is, just outside our office. And as he's picking it up, you can see he has his phone on his left hand and the RTK Pro on his right hand. Um, he can simultaneously locate and survey at the same time. And while he's doing this, he's actually adding quality level B to the asset. And that simultaneously is being sent through to the cloud-based software Geolantis. Uh, what's really, really important in this whole process is Justin doesn't have to manually put in the depth of uh, the utility. That's all automatically done in the background. Um, via Geolantis software and the RTK Pro as well. So that's something that where maybe you might lead to mistakes in the field, typing in depths, it's all done automatically, which is um, hugely important uh, to make sure that the workflow um, works simultaneously and um, in the correct fashion, I suppose, to get your correct results. That's a, uh, that's a great video, Philip. Thank you for showing us that. Um, so I guess from that, you could see the example of how the data is collected uh, in the field with the, with the VLOC Pro, um, and it's seamlessly then captured in the cloud application in the back end for Geolantis as well. So just as a sort of a quick explanation of broadly what Geolantis is. So if you couldn't pick that up from the video, it's a mobile mapping and surveying app with a mobile GIS component. It allows you to do stakeout, and inspections uh, and collaboration on locates and data collection uh, activities. So it also gives you the core feature of being able to quickly then capture and visualize critical asset network infrastructure that you're 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 documenting. Um, so what we probably what we really wanted to show you here was 
once that data is then collected in the field by the tech and, and they've gone out and, and done all the hard work and used the workflows that you've configured in the app, um, what happens next? We've got to build a deliverable. We've got to produce an output that is then usable for the client, which is really where the data that's streamed from the field to the cloud application is then um, manipulated in our web portal. So this video, uh, we're going to show you an example of how that process works and some examples of how the output is configured, manipulated, QA'd and, and delivered to a customer uh, and the various ways that we can we can uh, we can do that. So in this example, we're going to log in to the web portal. From here, you can do all the configuration. So there's a heap of features in here that we're not showing you, but you can design all the workflows that are then published out into the field. But what we're showing you here is we're navigating to a specific project. So this is a locator activity that was done, uh, I think, in New Zealand. Um, all of those arrows are points that were collected from um, the RTK enabled locator. Uh, and the lines were the lines documented uh, in the app. Uh, as the user was uh, was capturing them. So you can change base maps, you can change views to, to I guess, give you better context. Um, and because of the way the data was collected and what Philip was mentioning before, all of this depth, depth information is collected as metadata against the features that are collected. So immediately we can then present those depths on the map. We can use that information to then produce a deliverable which highlights to someone using that information what what uh, what depths they're looking for, as well as any notes. So if there was any workflows configured in the mobile app uh, to capture annotations and notes as they went, um, that might be useful uh, in the field, then you can capture that too. Once you're happy with kind of how things are laid out, you can use a project report feature that we have in Geolantis. Uh, for which we have a, um, a comp comprehensive report edit editor and, and creation tool. Just to give you an example of this is a PDF output that would be produced to a customer. So all of the heavy lifting around the line styles and the feature classes uh, and so forth is done predominantly from the field. And then it's a really simple task to produce an output which would be used in a in a report to a customer or internally uh, as a as for construction or whatever it might be used for. As well as the PDF report capability, there's also an ability for you to visualize uh, the asset information collected on Street View within the web portal. As well as then also having the ability to export the data set um, into a spatial or a CAD format, as well as photos. So if there's a configured workflow in the app to collect photos as you're doing locating, uh, those photos are then captured and can be visualized in the user interface as well. Here we can show the various formats that we can export to. So in this case, we can pull it out to a shape file. We can pull it out to a CAD format or into a Google format. What's really cool about this, this particular example is while you're visualizing the data set on top of a Google Earth map, uh, you can leverage all of the, I guess, the uh, the cool features that that gives you. Um, but you'll also notice that the photos, all of the attribution comes through as well as all of the photos as well. So you can click on a location, view the photo that was taken, and then that can be used as a deliverable to a customer uh, or an internal presentation with your teams. And again, a street view. So that's a really cool demonstration to show not just the capability of collecting the data from the field, uh, but then also when you're using the data in the back office, how that it can then be used to produce an output like this, which then you can hand on to a customer or, or for conversation. So here's a quick case study, uh, which highlights exactly that capability. Bloodhound is a 
uh, a very large locating business in the US. Uh, they recently adopted uh, Geolantis. And if you remember, there was an example of a hand drawn map. So that was pretty much what they were doing in the field. So their guys would go out and do a locate. They would then use that information and then do a sketch on uh, on another platform to then document something that would be then provided to an end customer. So what Geolantis has given them the ability to do is deploy a solution across their 170 odd uh, locators. Um, they can do exact locations and data capture with measurements um, with high precision. Um, and they're also using uh, the Vivax RTK uh, gear. Um, and they can do everything all in the field uh, while they're doing that. And then in the back office, once all of that where the project data is collected, they can then produce these beautiful reports that are then supplied to the customer for sign off. Um, in addition to the, I guess, the presentation and the output, the pr production or the, the product that they will then generate, uh, they're also able to do a lot of QA, QC on the data sets uh, on the individual users. So they're collecting um, the device that they, they, the data is being collected on, um, the user and who's doing the work. And they're also able to check all the frequencies and all of the metadata that, that's then streamed off the locator device uh, to ensure that the work that's being carried out is is uh, is done correctly. So they're using the right frequencies, they're using the right methodologies to collect the data so that it can be relied upon uh, and uh, and used and, and 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 produce a good product for the customer at the end of the day. So that's it for today. That's myself, Nick Holly, and thanks, Philip, for your time today. Thanks for the uh, uh, info, Nick. It was um, really good to go through the uh, workflow with you. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's great. And and look, you know, reach out to to Philip um, if you guys are interested in that the the Vivax technology and even the Geolantis platform as well, um, because they are one of our distributors uh, in this region. Um, or reach out directly to myself. Um, uh, my details are here, uh, and if uh, if you guys would like to have any questions answered by all means we look forward to uh, to seeing what we can do uh, but for now thank you very much there'll be uh, more content produced for geolantis to highlight some of the key features um, and we'll obviously be working with our friends at cr kennedy uh, on other material moving forward as well so thanks for coming along uh, we hope you've learned something today